Good morning, friends. I hope you are as excited to be here as I am. Today, we are going to learn all about the life cycle of a butterfly. All right, let's sing our hello song. Are you ready? Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. It is time to start our day. We will learn and work and play. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Great job, friends. All right, I want to know how you're doing today. Can you tell me? Excellent. Today, I feel pretty good. I'm really excited to learn about butterflies today, so I'm going to give today a two thumbs up. All right, let's say good morning to mummies or daddies. Good morning to brothers or sisters. And good morning to me, Miss Tracy. Good morning, friends. All right, so let's get through our date so that we can get down to learning about butterflies. Show me your two fingers and your five fingers. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job. Who knows what today is? Hmm, today is going to be tricky because we didn't have virtual preschool on Friday and we didn't have virtual preschool on Monday because of a PD day and a holiday. So today is what? What? Great job. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday and we're going to have some fun. Okay, it's all the way over here, which is a pretty big number we have to count to. So it's Wednesday. Who remembers what month it is? That's right, flowers. It's May. Okay, let's find my pointer and we can count to a really big number. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So this number, this really big number is number 26. So if we're going to write our date on the board, we would write Wednesday, May 26. Good job, friends. Okay. Now we need to do the tricky part, our weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, everyone? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? Hmm. Can you use your looking eyes to look outside your window and tell me what the weather is where you are today? Great job. Today where I am, it's pretty cloudy but there is a little bit of sun and it's pretty windy. So let's put those up. And then it almost looked a little bit like rain. So I'm gonna put the, my rubber boots on. Rubber boots are always a safe bet in spring because you never know, it could start raining any minute. All right, and pants and our hoodie. And I think our sloth will take his umbrella just in case. There we go. Okay, so now we get to talk all about butterflies. I love butterflies. 
So first we're going to talk a little bit inside this book about butterflies and then we're going to do our activity. We're going to read a story and then we're going to sing a song. How does that sound? Does that sound like a good plan? Excellent. Okay. So inside this book, we're just going to talk about how, so in this book, caterpillars came to school in a jar. Our jars are a little bit smaller and it was wriggling and then it ate here. Okay, so our caterpillars are eating uh, caterpillar food, but if they were in the wild, they would eat leaves. So they would eat through all the leaves and they would get nice and fat and grow. Here we go, okay. So our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. Look how big that caterpillar looks. Okay, so once it's all done growing, our caterpillar is gonna make a special house. So it makes a button of silk and uses the button to hang upside down. Then it molts for the last time, but instead of a new skin, this time there is a hard shell called a chrysalis. So our caterpillar will stay in the chrysalis for about two weeks. The chrysalis is also called the pupa. <laughs> okay, so we wait about two weeks and inside something is changing. The chrysalis starts cracking. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. So, uh, the butterfly is damp and crumpled. It hangs onto the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. Blood pumps into its wings. The wings straighten out and dry. And soon, our butterfly will be ready to fly. So when our butterflies are ready to fly, we are going to release them out into a park, maybe. And yes, so this is what our butterfly will look like. So what our caterpillars, they're called painted lady butterflies. And yeah, that's what they're gonna look like. They're kind of brownish with a little bit of orange. Okay, so yes. There is our storybook. Okay, this one is my favorite though. I love this storybook. So we're gonna read that in a minute. But first we're gonna do our life cycle of a butterfly activity today. So I forgot some things today. So I'm only gonna do part of our activity. So the first thing we need is we need our butterfly. We need our leaves, we need our words, and then you need the pasta and the bean that I gave you. So there is, I think, a rotini, there's a bow tie, a shell, and a bean. You need those things. I forgot mine at home today. I want you to decorate your butterfly. So Miss Tracy is gonna use her green um, crayons, and I'm gonna just decorate my butterfly. I also have a trick. If you ever want to make a butterfly painting, you could even do it with this one if you want to take some extra time. You could put some globs of paint on, fold it in half and press it, and then your butterfly will be painted underneath. And they will be the same because butterflies are the same on one side as the other. But today I am just going to color in some polka dots because I like polka dots. And then just color around my butterfly. So we read a storybook in one of our meetings about the different stages in the butterfly. Do you remember what those are? So the first stage is an egg. Much like our frog last week, right? We have our eggs and then we have 
our caterpillar. So right now, Miss Tracy's caterpillars are munching. They're munch, munch, munching on their caterpillar food. And I'll do this side too. And then once they're done munching, and they've grown nice and fat, and they're ready to transform into butterflies, they are gonna hang from the top of their little jars, and they're gonna form their chrysalis. Okay, I'm gonna color a little bit more of this. Remember when we're coloring, it's important that we use our pencil grasp, our tripod grasp. Okay, so there. I have colored two sides of my butterfly. I need my scissors though, because I'm gonna have to cut out these leaves and these words. So I need four leaves. So I'm gonna use my helper hand to help me. I don't have to be perfect. Cutting takes a lot of practice, and Miss Tracy has had a lot of practice cutting. So, it's okay if your cutting looks a little different than mine. There we go. Okay, so now we have four leaves that are cut out. And put our scraps of paper to the side because we don't need them right now. And then I'm gonna cut out my words. So these words say eggs, caterpillar, butterfly, and chrysalis. So from working on our sounds, we should be able to figure out what the words say. Let's see if we can do that. So I'll put my scissors and my scrap paper away. I will grab my glue. Okay, so we have our butterfly and we have our words. Okay, so the first stage, we're gonna put number one up here. The first stage is eggs. So we need to sound eh, eh, eggs for E. So this is a C, so not an E. This is a B and not an E. This is a C and not an E. But what about this one? Is this one an E? It is an E, so we'll put eggs. Put a little bit of glue. And we'll put eggs right here. Okay. The second stage is our caterpillar. So caterpillar starts with k, k, c, k, k. Okay. So we want to look for the letters C and A for k, caterpillar. Is this a C and an A? It's not. Is this a C and an A? Nope. But what about this one? Is this a C and an A for k, k, caterpillar? It is. Excellent. So then we can put caterpillar right here. Okay. Our next part that goes right here is chrysalis. So also our k, k sound, but not our k caterpillar sound, it's chrysalis. So this is a butterfly, which means this will be chrysalis. Good job. So we can put our chrysalis right here. And then our last stage is b butterfly. Okay. So once we've named them, we can go ahead and glue our leaves on. And then once we're all done gluing our leaves on, we can glue on the different pasta shapes or the bean that look the most like our stages. So if you were to pick which one of those things looked most like the egg, which one do you think it would be? Would it be the rotini, which is spiral? Or would it be the bow tie? 
would it be the shell or would it be the bean? It would be the bean. That's right, so we'll put the bean right here. And then our caterpillar, which do you think would be the most like that? Hmm. The spiral pasta, the rotini, would be most like the caterpillar. And then all we have left is our bow tie and our shell. So which do you think represents the chrysalis? The shell, that's right, good job. And then our butterfly would be the bow tie because it looks the most like our butterfly. Excellent. And if you have some leftover pipe cleaners from your kit, you can glue pipe cleaners on the top for your butterfly's antenna. And then our butterfly life cycle is all done. Excellent. Okay, so now I'm gonna read you like the best butterfly book ever. I am so excited about this book. Are you ready? I'm a good listener, read me a book. My hands are in my lap and at Miss Tracy I look. When she sees I'm ready, she will say, here is the story I have for you today. So my storybook is called Butterflies Are Pretty Gross. Because <laughs> butterflies are kind of gross. <sighs> okay. Hi, I'm a butterfly. And everyone knows that butterflies are pretty. We flutter through meadows. We pose on fancy flowers. We show off our wings. We shimmer with all the colors of the rainbow. So majestic. Don't you look lovely? Yes, butterflies are beautiful. Is that all you wanted to know about butterflies? Great. Then don't turn the page. Close this book. You're done. The story is over. There is nothing to see here. Should we turn the page? Huh. You kept reading. Well, there's much more you could learn about butterflies. The truth would surprise you. It would gross you out. Don't read any further unless you're ready for the real story. This is your last chance to close this book. Don't say I didn't warn you, because I did. I warned you. Here we go. <gasps> Some butterflies are gross. They eat rotten food. They land on moldy fruit and slurp up the juices. They also eat dead animals. The slimier, the better. Mmm, deliciously disgusting, says this butterfly. Some butterflies are drab. They're gray or white or brown. Some of them even look like dead leaves to help hide them from hungry birds. So this butterfly's going, shh, I'm not here. Some butterflies are noisy. If you walk past a red cracker butterfly, you're prepared for a surprise. It may fly towards you and make noise with its wings. Crack, crack. Pretty peculiar, right? Oh, but there is so much I haven't told you. You can still turn back. You can close this book. It's up to you. Okay, prepare to get weirded out. Butterflies are shapeshifters. Baby butterflies hatch from eggs. They are called caterpillars. They eat and they grow. Nom, nom, nom. When they get big enough, their skin hardens and they turn into chrysalises. Under the hard shell, they grow new body part parts. So this one's saying, hmm, how many legs should I try? I'll try six. Soon, they burst through the shell. Now they have wings. Time to fly. Some caterpillars are carnivorous, which means they eat meat. Caterpillars love to eat and eat. Most caterpillars chomp on leaves, but some of them are meat eaters and they hunt bugs. Some caterpillars are stinky. A giant swallowtail caterpillar looks like bird poop. When somebody frightens it, the caterpillar sticks out two stinky tentacles to scare them away. It's 
kind of gross. Some caterpillars are sneaky. The Alcon blue caterpillar smells and sounds like an ant. Ants think that the caterpillar is an ant too. The ants babysit the caterpillar until it grows up. So this little ant is saying, hey, you're not an ant. And this caterpillar is making a joke. He says, no, I'm fraudulent. <laughs> well, now you know the truth. You don't have to hear anymore. Goodbye. So long. Have a nice day. Oh, you're still here. Do you want to learn more? Fine. Here comes the really strange stuff. Some butterflies have butts that look like heads. This is the red banded hair streak. Can you guess which end is the front and which is the back? It's tricky. The butterfly's back wings have fake eyes and antenna. The butterfly waggles its back wings in the air. A hungry spider thinks the butterfly's butt is its head and attacks the butt. The butterfly escapes, sometimes leaving part of its butt behind. Fooled you, got away. Butterflies taste with their feet. A monarch butterfly mom stomps on a plant to taste the leaves. If they're yummy, she lays her eggs on them. She's making sure that her babies will have lots of food to eat when they hatch. My feet say it's sweet. <laughs> what if your parents stuck their feet in your cereal before you ate it? Ugh, that'd be kind of gross. Some butterflies eat poop. They snack on salt and other tasty stuff from big piles of animal dung. Some butterflies drink tears. They sip the water that drips from an animal's eyes. Tears are salty and they need salt to stay healthy. Well, now you know the truth. We butterflies are complicated. We're gross. We're amazing, just like you. And just like you, we're beautiful too. The end. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about different kinds of butterflies. So in this book, they talked about monarch, harvester, alcon, blue, red cracker, giant swallowtail, red banded hair streak, and the Julia heliconian, which is kind of interesting. So the monarch likes milkweed plants. They only eat the leaves of milkweeds. The harvester lays her eggs near woolly aphids. When her caterpillars hatch from the eggs, they munch on the aphids. As a caterpillar, the Alcon Blue uses special chemicals and sounds to imitate an ant. Real ants get tricked into protecting and feeding it. When it transforms into a butterfly, it quickly escapes the ant's nest, shedding special scales to stop the ants from attacking it. The red cracker is blue and white on top, but when it folds its wings together, you'll see a bright fire truck red color. The male red cracker makes a cracking sound like bacon frying in a pan. It probably makes the sound to show off or to chase other, way, other butterflies away. The giant swallowtail has, big, has a wingspan about the length of a $5 bill, so it's a really big butterfly. As a caterpillar, it looks like bird poop. Predators don't want to eat poop, so they leave it alone. And this one, the red banded hair streak, was the one with the fake head. And the Julia Helconian slurps up turtle tears to get salt. It needs salt to stay healthy and make its eggs, and its usual food, flower nectar, isn't salty enough. And this butterfly, after eating the rotten apple, goes burp. The end. So I learned some new things about butterflies. Did you learn some new things about butterflies? Yes, okay, so now I have a song. And I'm going to show you the words to the song because this is going to help Miss Tracy too. Okay. So my song is to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So we're just going to move some stuff out of the way. Try and make sure we can fit it all in.
Okay, so here is my song. And it goes like this. Let me use my finger to point. Flutter, flutter, butterfly. Use your wings and go so high. Lay your eggs upon a leaf. Caterpillar, munch and eat. Spin a silky chrysalis. Rest and rest, metamorphosis. Good job. Okay, let's try that one more time. Are you ready? And you can flutter your wings if you want. Flutter, flutter, butterfly. Use your wings and go so high. Lay your eggs upon a leaf. Caterpillar, munch and eat. Spin a silky chrysalis. Rest and rest, metamorphosis. Good job. All right, friends. So we learned a lot about butterflies today. We are still learning about butterflies on Friday and I have a very fun activity for us to do. All right, that's everything I have for you today. So let's get out our working hands. All day long we worked and played, worked and played, worked and played. All day long we worked and played, and now our day is done. Wave goodbye to all your friends, all your friends, all your friends. Wave goodbye to all your friends until we meet again. Bye friends, I'll see you soon.